So today I'm going to be taking and plastic dipping this grill on my girlfriend's 2012 Dodge Charger. And what you're going to need, I'm going to use a ratchet um, with the, what size is it for the bolt? Let's see. 10 millimeters, because there's a bolt right here. I don't know if you can see it in there. There you go, you can see it there. Right there, there's a bolt right there on each side. If you undo that bolt and undo that bolt, and then um, there's a few screws on the top here, the whole thing will kind of fall forward it won't necessarily, the whole thing won't come off, but I don't want to take the whole thing off because all I need is the grill. I'm not doing the bumper. So the whole thing will be able to come forward enough to where then I can take a screwdriver and undo the screws that are there, 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 and there to take that off. And so then I can Plasti Dip it. And here's the Plasti Dip I'm using. We got the, what is it called? Violet. Metalizer, then you got the black, just the normal black that everybody always has, and then the glossifier. So my plan is because her favorite color is purple, but we don't want it too like loud because really what the look she's going for is blacked out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put black first on the chrome part. If I didn't clarify, on the chrome, I'm gonna put black first. So then the base coat is black instead of that chrome. So then this purple will now be real nice and dark. I'll probably do like two layers of black maybe, then start layering up the purple on top of it. And because it's the front of the car, I'm probably gonna do like eight or more layers. So it's nice and thick so that rock chips and stuff aren't gonna chip it and you won't see chrome underneath it. And then once I do that, when it's all said and done, I'll use the glossifier to make it shiny again um, so that it's not a matte finish. And then the other thing I'm going to do is in here, that plastic kind of grill in there and in the bottoms. I'm going to take all those and I'm going to spray those with the black and with the glossifier. Because they, they're plastic, obviously. So that will give them a kind of an updated, nice little shine to it. First tip I'm going to give you all is as I'm working on taking the bolts off and getting that grill off, these are going to be sitting in warm water. Not hot, like boiling water, just warm water. I can put my hand in there is about how warm you want it. And um, what that is going to do is that's going to help it atomize better so that when you spray, you're not getting big kind of spots of paint coming out. It's a real nice fine layer. That's what you want so that you can get nice even coats. So then it's nice and flat and smooth, not, um, you, you don't want any kind of texture on there. So those are going to be in there about 10, 15 minutes. Then I'll probably shake them up and leave them in there another five minutes. So I just took the first bolt off. And one thing I did forget to mention is there's these little tabs. Sorry, it's so hard to see in here, but you know, everything is black. So uh, there are these little tabs right here that you are going to need to pop off so that this um, this wheel well plastic protect cover in here kind of releases from the, the bumper. I can't specifically tell you what every model is going to have but this model has this plastic cover right here that you kind of just pull up and pop 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 they all pop off these little tabs pops right up and just Pull it, don't worry about it, you're not gonna break anything. They're just little metal tabs that pop off and pop in. And right here, all of these guys just pull right up and they pop right out. There's one, two, three, four of those. So then once you do that, pop those off. Now I'm able to, it's hard to see, but I'm able to reach up in there from behind now with the screwdriver, unscrew the screws so that it comes out. It actually took a lot more work than I thought it would um, to get it off. 
because I was trying to be careful not to break any of the little plastic tabs, but you got to pop the little plastic tabs off, slide it out. So now I'm just, I got some um, isopropyl alcohol. I'm just cleaning it up right now so that I can prep it. Every nook and cranny of it is clean and not only just clean, but make sure that every nook and cranny is now dry before spraying. And I've sh shaken it up about two minutes. It's nice and warmed up from that warm water. So the first coat is gonna be a nice light coat, about 50%. Let's do it. So that you get a nice even spray, as they call it, so it atomizes better. I'm gonna have to hold this because there's so many angles. Um, first coat's gonna be like a light 50%. crevices and angles like in here all the different areas because if not like the first time I did it it'll peel off because it won't have an even coat everywhere so it won't create a strong bond put it back on the car it doesn't nick it and peel it off because it's not a nice strong layer all the way around it. This is why I suggest you buying more than one can because you're definitely going to go through it more because you found out the hard way. You need to spray the back of it as well with that full coat. Full coverage, I guess. Hopefully, I'll have these little things to hold on to right here. For a first 50% coat, that's pretty decent. Um, we're not too worried about texture here anymore. We were going to go for a glossy look the last time. Failed miserably. So, not too concerned about the texture of it anymore because glossy's out of question because I'm not trying to redo it again. But the product doesn't want to function correctly. First cut down. Alright, so this is the first layer, kind of a light tack coat, 50%, you could definitely still see, you know, chrome through it, 
but you can see it starting to get on there nice and even. Gonna give that some time to dry. And then the next coat is gonna be a lot thicker, but still you don't want to go too close to where it puddles up. You still kind of want to stay kind of a nice distance away to get a nice even layer on there, but definitely a much more wet coat than this one. And I'm gonna do that process about whew, eight more times. Eight more times in total, let me clarify, because again, I'm doing this with the purple eventually. So this first coat of black, and then I think maybe I might do two more coats of the black, so then the black is a nice even cover. Then I'll start on the purple and do about probably six or seven coats of the purple on top of these coats of black. 